We've actually already seen threat actors using this pandemic situation when targeting uh, remote workforce as well as consumers. And I think it's certainly plausible to believe that they will try to target the primary elections or even the presidential elections and specific communities that might be in swing states or districts to try to sway the election results by leveraging the coronavirus or information, disinformation around the coronavirus and certain cases and outbreaks. Disinformation around pandemic, disinformation around uh, other type of health related issue that is specifically, you know, specific to a particular area issues that relate to traffic conjunction, anything that would essentially get voters to not get to the voting center. Well, the first thing is we communicate with our own internal workforce as well as with our customers and partners, how we operate and how we maintain proper business continuity throughout this crisis. Luckily, we were able to plan for that in advance, not in a specifically a corona virus, but the situation of a pandemic, which is built into our business continuity program. And so we're able to keep, can, you know, keep delivering our uh, services, our support, our managed services, as well as maintain every other aspect of our operation despite that crisis.